Now, I do want to try this out because we did do this in a previous episode. And, oh, uh, maybe I don't because of the rhino right there. It gets at a pretty good angle. We're going to try this. So, long story short, if I run into it, there's a chance I can kill it. Whoa. It does work. Sweet. And 18 more cryos made, and I'm going to be honest, I meant to do this at the end of the last episode, but there we go. There are plenty of cryopods for us. What are we at it now? Uh, what do we have? Three, five made? So that's, what, 23? Not too shabby there, but guys, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today, we are going out to get our first flyer. Today is the day, except it's not really a flyer. It's actually a glider, and if you guys don't know exactly what it is, well, you're going to find out in the next few seconds, because today, guys, we are going for, of course, the Maywing. Yeah, you guys know that we saw this in the previous episode, and I love it. I want to get this thing. I want to get my hands on it. I absolutely love the colors on this guy. Again, guys, apologies with the face. Unfortunately, this happens on Genesis 2 in HDR mode. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm actually really confused on why it's happening now. Uh, but it is what it is. No big deal. I believe our Maywing is somewhere right over here. Let's see. We got an Ovis here that actually makes things a little bit easier. I think we have a second Ovis too. Yeah, we do. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is right where we left it. This thing is completely trapped right now. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the stats here. So 1354 in health, 922 stam, 584 weight, and 225 melee right off the bat. Now, of course, if I shoot this thing, it is going to go on the run, which is why in the last episode, uh, well, we made this guy the harpoon launcher. It's going to make life so much easier for us. And ultimately... I want to get this guy first. Of course, I would love to get another one so we could start breeding and stuff. But for right now, one is good to go. All right. So shouldn't take too, too long to knock this thing out either. We are using Trank arrows, not Trank darts or anything. We're not at that level just yet. Uh, I think we have a couple levels until we get to that point. But what's nice, too, is we can actually check the Torpor, which obviously we're already at 800 and it's out. <laughs> That's the one thing about them. Their Torpor is so low. That is so, so quick to knock these guys out. They're relatively easy. Unfortunately, the biggest thing that I wait for is uh, getting the Harpoon Launcher, which does take a while. But technically, you can make the saddle at level 19, but you can't... It's kind of weird, actually. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this. You can make the saddle at level 19. But unfortunately, to make the saddle, you need the Smithy, which unlocks the level 20. I've always talked about this. I don't know if this is a bug or anything like that, or it was intentional. But yeah, long story short, we're going to unlock the Maywing saddle right now, which, as you guys can see, level 19. Can only be crafted at the Smithy. Smithy's level 20. <laughs> Why didn't they just make this level 20 to make it so much easier? I don't know. Anyways, no big deal there. Uh, it is going to take a little bit for this guy to wake up let's check and see okay so it's starting to go down not too shabby uh but let's go ahead and we just saw those ovises that's what i want to go for where did it go that's what we want to kill here let's go into third person oh it's right i thought i just saw it right here maybe it was the plant that i saw all right where did that ovis go well, there's another Ovis right here, so I guess we'll take care of this guy. Now, I do want to try this out, because we did do this in a previous episode. And, oh, uh, maybe I don't, because of the rhino right there. It gets at a pretty good angle. We're going to try this. So, long story short, if I run into it, there's a chance I can kill it. Whoa. It does work. Sweet. I didn't realize you could do this with smaller dinos and stuff. That is really cool. Now, the last time we were here on Genesis 2, uh, I ended up going after a couple of terror birds just because they were chasing the equuses that we wanted. And ultimately, I ended up doing that and knocking one into, like, complete oblivion, I felt like. Like, I knocked it out really, really far and was really cool. Um, and then, ultimately, I ended up killing it while running. And I didn't know you could actually do that. I also didn't know what creatures it would work on. So I guess the Ovis is one of those creatures. Now, where is our... Here it is. Okay. 
Now, I don't think it's going to take a lot of mutton. We'll do four. Might need another one. And there we go. We got ourselves the Maywing. Now, of course, HLNA is going to kind of talk about the Maywing. We are going to get a uh, little bit of a boost here. I think this is how you kind of get your Explorer notes here on this map. Uh, or, well, rather, we will get some XP because it's our brand new team. Uh, kind of weird that they did this, did this on Genesis 2, I'm not going to lie, but it is what it is. 2187 in health, 1215 stam, 640 in weight, and 294 in melee. Not going to lie, not happy about that melee. <laughs> oh, man, but the colors on you look absolutely awesome. I'm really excited to try to get another one. Uh, yeah, let's look around. I definitely want to get another 150 just so we can kind of think think about breeding and stuff. This always seems really awkward to me. What the hell is this motion? <laughs> I, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to look around the map. I'm going to see if we can find any more. I'm also going to go for... Uh, the loot drops and stuff. You guys know, of course, I'm going to do that. There's actually already one way out there, too, that I'm going to get my hands on. So let's get those loot drops. Let's see what they got. Let's look for some May Wings, and uh, hopefully we'll be looking pretty good here. And we are level 61. Oh, my gosh. We're going to take a look here in a second and see what we unlock. Uh, nah, nothing here. I know we got tech door frames here, but... Nah, not going to deal with that just yet. Now, level 61, I'm pretty sure it could be 62 now that I think about it, is the Argent Saddle. Or is it the Snow Owl at 61 and the Argent at 62? It is. It's the Snow Owl at 61, the Argent at 62, and Trank Darts at 62 also. Okay. So technically, we have one more level until we can go for Argents. Now... Of course, there's a couple of different variants of Argents. There's regular ones, and of course, there's the X one. Ooh, Thyla. I love how I just completely stopped my sentence just to take a look at the Thyla. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I pick you up? I can. Level 25 now. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. You guys see that out of nowhere? <laughs> wow. Okay. That popped to my screen real fast. Now, between the Argent and the X-Argent, I'm going to be honest, I don't know which one to go for yet, because, of course, the X-Argent looks so much nicer, um, in my opinion. It just looks incredible compared to the regular one. Don't get me wrong, the re regular one looks really good, too, but let me know what you guys think. Should we go for X-Argents, or should we go for regular Argents first? The biggest issue is going to be that we're going to have to go to colder biomes, and we don't really have anything to equip ourselves with that yet. Plus... Genesis 1 is going to be an absolute pain. Ooh, there's a vault. No, I'm actually not going to take that right now. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but nah, I'm good. We'll get vaults and stuff eventually, but... That's the biggest struggle that I have right now, is when we go for Argents, it probably makes sense for right now just to go for normal ones. And then once we're better equipped, like with a Thyla or with... Um, I don't know, some other, I don't know, some other mount. I just don't feel that we're that equipped right now. Yes, we have the Ravagers. Yes, we have the really good Equus, but we also have to take a trip over to Genesis 1 in order to get X Argent. The other option, of course, is um, on Fjordor, we can go to Jotunheim, but that's going to be an absolute pain in the ass, isn't it? Right? So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, why do the trees look a little bit more folly and not as green? Are they usually this? And I'm just not noticing it until now. Why do they look extra fully? I feel like this is something that's always been around and I haven't noticed this till now. No, but see those trees up there. Those trees up there are like really, really green. Why are these yellow? All right. I don't know what's going on. I'm genuinely confused. You guys can let me know. Are these normally yellow? And I just haven't noticed this till now. Eh, huh. strange. Anyways, all right, the good news is when we are looking for Maywings, Maywings, oh yeah, look at the rest of the area. The rest of the other area is green, though. It's just that area in particular is yellow. Maybe it's always been that. It's probably always been that, and I'm just noticing it now. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go for this one more drop, and then we're going to go look for another Maywing at this point. Um, Let's hope we get some good colors when it comes to the Maywing, but ultimately... 
I'm looking for a 150. We have a 150 already. I was about to say 150 male, but they don't actually have genders. Um, we already have a 150. Let's try to get another 150. Then we'll head back to the island. We'll start some breeding. I would love to have a fully imprinted one by the end of this episode. So let's see what this drops got, and then we'll go Maywing hunting. All right, guys. So it looks like this one's stuck inside of the wall. So you guys know my rule uh, when it comes to Genesis 2, especially when these kind of things happen. It's not necessarily my fault. It's the map's fault. So I'm not going to penalize myself for not being able to get this drop. So let me go into ghost mode. Let's uh, get this drop and see what it's got. All right, here we go. And I'll take the trike saddle. I'll take the shield. Uh, probably going to take the cementing paste. I don't need the black pearl necessarily right now. It's not like it's a lot. Okay, cool. Not too shabby. So it's the next morning, and unfortunately, I couldn't find any 150s. But that being said, I ended up finding two 145s, and one of them is actually right around here. I believe it's this one right here. Now, let's double check that. It is, okay, so 1890 in health, 810 stam, 584 weight, and 210 melee. Not too shabby there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing now, and then we're going to try to find that other 145. So... Here we go. Uh, relatively easy to do this like before. A couple of shots. We should be pretty good. So one. Let's just keep an eye on that Torpor. Two. Three. That should probably do it. Maybe even four. And that'll definitely do it. And it's out. Perfect. Cool. Uh, let's go track down the other one. Because I'm going to be honest, I did see a ton of these last night. Uh, I can't remember where the other 145 is, I'm going to be honest. But we'll take a quick look around here. I'll see if I can find that again. I'm pretty sure it was closer to the center, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if I can stop... Oh my gosh. Oh god, everything's spoiling. <laughs> uh, well, I guess that means we're just going to have to kill another Ovis. Alright, let's drop that. Let's drop that. Okay, fine. Go get the Ovis first, then we'll track down the other 145. And Maywing number two is ours. Honestly, did not put enough food in. I thought I put plenty, but guess not. But the Maywing is ours. Let's take a quick look at the stats and everything. So we are looking at 2544 in health, 1057 stam, 680 in weight, and 252 melee damage. <laughs> Melee is not going to be good on these guys, but it is what it is. Of course, with breeding and stuff, we'll be able to get some nice stuff. Uh, guys, I can't seem to find the other 145, which kind of has me thinking, did I just see one or did I just see two? So I'm going to take a few more minutes and look around here because I genuinely thought I saw two 145s. Now, I have seen two 140s, but I feel like I justified it by saying, well, I saw two 145s, so... We'll go for those, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna have a quick look around here. Just wanna see if uh, I kinda screwed something up. But if not, we also have two Maywings at this point. We have a 150, we have a 145. So we can totally just head back to the island and start breeding. But I do wanna take a quick look around, just in case, cause the more, the merrier. Yeah, not gonna lie, really strange there that I didn't end up seeing the other 145. So I could have been completely mistaken. I know it's crazy, but I do wanna see if I can get this drop with everything going on here. Uh. Eh. You know what? Let's just wait a second. Everything will run away. Oh, come on, Yudi. Come on, Yudi. Get unstuck. Come on. I really want this loot drop. <laughs> Alright, what if I do this? Why is it not reacting? Is it completely stuck? All right, I can get the kite and helmet. Oh God, we gotta go, we gotta go. <laughs> All that for a kite and helmet, was that really worth it? Yeah, probably, honestly, not too bad. Uh, let's see if there's any more loot drops before we head out. So obviously it's the next day at this point. Uh, we now have white drops on the map, which I'm going to be honest, I don't remember what that actually is, but I do have a little chart. I'll see if I remember. I'll put it up on the screen right now. 
Uh, but if I don't, I always end up having a little chart that kind of tells you, well, what do the colors actually mean? So, all right, there's another drop out there. We'll take advantage of that, and then we'll probably head back to the island and start some breeding. Ooh, we got two drops. Nice. All right, drop number one, Megalania Saddle. Okay, I guess. All right. And drop number two... Hacky Rhino Saddle, Procoptodon Saddle. We also get Element. We're not going to bother with that since we can't transfer it right now. And that's that. Sweet. And one more for good luck. Ooh, Ascendant Pike. Nice. Uh, Parasaur Saddle, Underwater Mine. Kind of interesting. Never personally have used that before. But nice. And finally, one more because I simply just want to. Uh, Maybanks... <laughs> Mega Wing Saddle Motorboat would be really cool, but I don't know if we can hold that along with the Packy. You know what? Screw it. Taking the Motorboat with us. We're having a mo- Okay, I gotta figure out how to move here now. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make sure we're in the air, and now I think we can move. Sweet. Should I take the Motorboat? I feel like I should, but at the same time- Oh my god, there's another one right there. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. No Motorboat. We got the Mega Wing Saddle. Really, really cool. Uh, let's get this one last one, and then we'll get out of here. Apprentice Pike. Not going to take the war drums with us. All right, I think we're pretty good here. So, guys, we are back on the island, and we finally have our brand new Maywing. And I gotta say... It ended up not being too bad of a process, with these two being the original ones over from Genesis 2, and the one down there being the final product, and we'll go over that in a minute. But the reason why this process ended up being so easy is because when you breed Maywings, both Maywings end up laying eggs, so it just makes this process that much quicker. But going over the original stats, this one here had the best in health at 2544 and the best weight at 680. This one here had the best in stam at 1215 and the best melee at 294. Now, after breeding these two for a bit, ultimately we ended up getting one with the perfect stats. And as you guys know, if you've seen me do these kind of breeding videos and stuff like that, I always end up trying to get two perfects. It just makes things easier at the end of the day. But the fact that I was able to throw in the perfect with these guys and basically just get a ton of eggs, ultimately we ended up getting this one. And funny thing about this one, this one ended up having a mutation. Now, I do know which stat the mutation's in, which is melee, and we'll go over that in a minute, but color-wise, I can't seem to figure it out. It looks exactly like the other one, so I don't really know what stat it got color-wise. I don't know if it's maybe just so close to what it originally had that we're, we just can't tell the difference. But ultimately, I really do like this one, and I'm honestly really happy it was a melee mutation because looking at the originals with 294 melee, I was a bit concerned. Of course, this thing's not a fight or anything like that, but it's always nice to have a decent amount of melee. But going through the rest of the stats here, we are looking at 2625 in health, 1215 stam, 768 in weight, and finally 372.8 melee damage. And this is with... 100% imprint, mind you, and I'm happy. I'm actually really happy about this Maywing. I think it looks absolutely awesome. The fact that in the early part of this episode, we ended up getting this Mastercraft Maywing saddle just seals the deal, honestly, because now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember unlocking the Maywing saddle. Uh, I'm pretty sure we did, but now it's been a couple hours, obviously, since recording the last parts, doing all this breeding and stuff. I don't remember if we unlocked it or not, but... I'm really happy about this guy, honestly. It looks absolutely awesome. I love having the Maywing just because, I don't know. I know it's not a flyer, but at the same time, it kind of replaces the Pteranodon with your first flyer that you get, you know what I mean? It's just, I love this creature. It's so quick. It's actually the fastest flyer, I believe, in Ark based on that whole little uh, speed boost that you can give it. But on top of that too, it's so quick in the water. It's actually one of the fastest, if not the fastest, water creature, too. And the crazy part is, like I mentioned before, you can get the saddle at level 19. Now, you can't technically craft it until level 20 because you do need the smithy in order to do so. Interested to see if in ASA they do actually end up switching that. I feel like they should bump it up to level 20 or something like that. But ultimately, 
This is the starter flyer, let's be honest, and if you do have access to the other maps, unfortunately ASA, we won't have access to it for a long time, unless maybe they throw it onto a different map just to appease us a bit, but yeah, this thing is absolutely awesome. Look how fast we're flying. I mean, this is just nuts, honestly, but guys, I'm really happy with this thing. On top of that too, yeah, I would love more melee, but at the same time, this thing's not a fighter. Stats-wise, this thing's looking pretty good. The saddle, having 70 armor, is absolutely great, too. It just kind of seals the deal on this guy, but I'm really happy with this. And I think what we're going to probably do in the next episode, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I want to get your guys' thoughts, because maybe we'll do something with the raft. Because I feel like this is kind of an unused gem for us. You guys were saying about using the foundations and stuff and putting them into the ground or putting them deeper into the raft so lead sicknesses can't hit us and stuff like that. Maybe we'll test that out. Of course, when I mean next episode, guys, I probably mean three, four, five episodes because I do try to record two, three episodes before you guys get to see it. So mind you, it won't technically be the next episode, but leave it in the comments if that's something you're interested in. If not, we'll kind of figure it out. Currently, our level is 61. We are very close to 62, which means we could technically go for Argent, too, which means we'd get ourselves a Tyranitan and all that. Now, one thing I do want to mention to you guys, because I forgot to mention this before, I did have to unlock the standing torches in order to... Uh, incubate the eggs and stuff like that because just normally right here it's 62 degrees but out here i believe if you're not in the water yeah it's a little bit more it's 95 and it kind of needed that nice happy medium and which is why i did have to go ahead and do this in order to get these eggs hatched i just want to give you the heads up in case you are making a base here you're kind of following the series and doing everything that i'm doing essentially but Guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, take a second. Make sure to smash that like button. On top of that, if you're enjoying the Ark Survival Evolve content, you're excited for Ark Survival Ascended, which at this point, Ark Survival Ascended might be out by the time you see this video. So if you guys are excited about some ASA content, along with Ark Survival Evolved, along with a few other things coming along the way, which actually have already come along the way, never mind, Make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out, guys. But ultimately, that's going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.